Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let me see. Welcome, everybody. Graciela, present, right? Gabriela. Welcome, Gabriela. Suleima, welcome, Suleima. Good night, good night. Delmi Carranza, welcome. Good night. Hello. Good evening, good evening. Yes, good night is when we say goodbye, right? <laughs> okay. You're saying teacher, goodbye. No, no. No, it's hello, right? And Sara Quintanilla. Quintanisha. Okay. So, welcome to a new class. Uh, to begin, we are going to start with the review, like we always do, right? So let's go to the review. And I will share my window, my screen. Okay, last topic was adverse of frequency, right? Adverse of frequency. Okay. Let me see. Let's wait for another student. Flor. Ah, welcome, Flor. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. It's a pleasure. Uh, Roberto Quijano, welcome. Hello, Roberto. Hello, teacher. Good evening. It's a pleasure, right? I only see your glasses, Roberto. Yeah. yeah. Solo le canso ver los lentes, Roberto. Sí, hoy me tocó ponérmelo. Ok, good. So, welcome. Let me see. We have more students. Ok, let's start with the review, right? Now, let's watch again the video and pay attention. In this class, you'll learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. Let's get started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency are words that come before the verbs and they express frequency. For example, if you would like to express that you take a shower every day, 100% of the time, that will be always, you can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I always take a shower. This means I take a shower 100% of the time. If you would like to express that you never smoke cigarettes, uh, this means 0% of the time. You can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I never smoke cigarettes. This means 0% of the time. The easiest way to categorize adverbs of frequency is by giving each a percentage number. So let's do just that. Always equals 100%. Usually equals 80%. Often equals 70%. Sometimes equals 50%. Hardly ever equals 25%. Never equals 0%. Next, 
I would like to explain how to use them and in which order to use them. Typically, we will use adverbs of frequency after the pronoun or subject. We can follow this formula. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I always eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is always. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is sometimes. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I would like to show an exception to this rule. If you notice the example, sometimes I eat breakfast. With the adverb of frequency, sometimes, you may put that at the beginning, just like you see on the example. Sometimes I eat breakfast. You may also say, I sometimes eat breakfast. Just like we've learned in this class by putting the adverb of frequency after the subject. And finally, you may say the following. I eat breakfast sometimes. You can put the adverb of frequency at the end of your sentence. The last point that I would like to touch in this class is how to form questions and answers about frequency. Let's start by understanding how to form questions. You may follow this formula, auxiliary do or does, plus the subject, plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. After that, we have the subject you. Then we will add ever. Next, we will add the, a verb have. Finally, we need to add a complement fish for breakfast. And we can answer this type of question in different ways. For example, yes, I always do sometimes I do no I never do now is your time to practice by giving lots of examples of your own I would like for you to think about food particularly the type of food you eat for breakfast lunch and dinner and express how often you eat this type of food. For example, I always drink coffee for breakfast. I, I never drink coffee for dinner. I hardly ever eat fish for lunch. I never eat fish for breakfast. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, now uh, here we have the video again, right? I want you to be sure of this topic.
and we're going to see uh, the discussion, right? The discussion. Um, I don't have the names here, but we're going to start reading, right? And in this occasion, uh, you're going to help me. Let me see, I will make it bigger. Okay. That's it, right? Okay, now. Others of frequency, this, this example, right? Um, well, let me, it's not too big, right? Not too big. Yes, only this. Um, please, Beatriz Galdames, can you help me reading this example, please? Sí. Please, I always, always drink water at the morning. Mm -hmm. Is this correct, Beatriz? Yo creo que es in the morning. Okay, in the morning, right? Okay. Continue. Early ever. Is there a mistake, Beatriz? Hay un error? Is there a mistake? Sí, está mal escrito. Ah, Hardly. Okay. Hardly ever. So we have to omit the E, right? Then it's H A R D L Y. Hardly, Hardly right? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Continue. I hardly ever eat cereal for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Continue. I often drink soda for lunch. Okay. It's a bad custom, right? Don't do that, please. Don't drink soda. Never drink soda. It's bad for you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Beatriz. <laughs> uh, we're going to read about floor, right? Um, Brian, please, can you help me reading the commentary of we read it yesterday but we, yes. we are making a review okay i i always eat beans for breakfast okay only the i usually a. i usually drink coffee with milk for breakfast i often eat rice for lunch okay i sometimes i sometimes something okay now okay um, thank you very much brian now let's go to this one, right? Uh, let me see, Cody, please. Can you help me, Cody? Read okay. this one. I always have soda, huh? Please. I always have soda for dinner. Is that okay, Cody? Um, I think yes. Yeah, right. Continue. It's okay. Yes. I never drink coffee for breakfast. Period, right? Punto cero. Period. Period. Yeah. Uh -huh. Continue. I usually eat beans for breakfast. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Cody. So this person is uh, eat the same that the floor, right? Beans, they are delicious. Eh? I like them. Uh, Sulma, we're going to read this one. Uh, Gloria Escalante. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let me see. Uh, floor, please, can you read uh, the commentary of Gloria? Yes, teacher. I always take a shower in the morning. Okay, very good. And Siomar, I, I, I remember we read this yesterday, but I'm, I'm making a review, right? Vamos a seguir repasando, okay? Uh, Siomara Guerra, it's, uh, the commentary of Siomara, right? Gabriela, please, can you read the commentaries of Siomara Guerra, please? I always... I always have coffee in the afternoon. Okay. I never eat pacaya or shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp. Shrimp. Like, like Shrek. Shrek, shrimp. <laughs> shrimp. She eats fish for lunch. Okay, that's okay, right? And to finish, uh, the commentary of Roberto Quijano. Uh, Graciela, can you hear me, please? Teacher, I Are always you? drink one. I always drink water at my work. Perfect. Um, in my work, or no? Yes, yes. At, no, no, no. In this case, you're talking about uh, the place where you uh, where you work, right? I, so you can say my work. 
when you say in my work, oh. it's, it's, it's correct, Graciela. But you're referring that you are inside the building or outside the building, right? So in this context, okay. this context is more appropriate to say at. Mm. At, okay. Now, she usually takes the bath in this place. Take open Some okay. Sometimes something, right? Okay, good. Uh, let me see. Nobody else. But. A congratulations for those who, who made your commentaries, right? It's very necessary, right? Now the knowledge check. Okay, we, we finish this together, right? Now, but I have a question for you, but please be honest, right? Did all of you finish this part? Todos terminamos ya esta parte o hay alguien en el grupo que todavía no lo ha terminado? Yes, teacher. Yes. Si lo terminamos o oh, yes, hay alguien. Yes, yes, teacher, finally. Okay. Yes, finish. Okay, good. So we're, I'm going to need volunteer for this, right? Volunteer. Raise your hands. I want to see your hands up. Uh, and let's work in number one, right? We're going to put this in order, right? Uh, go to the commentaries and then it says uh, manita de participación, right? Okay, I want to, to wait for the for the brave uh, student, the uh, student más valiente. I hardly ever Ah, Roberto, eat, Roberto. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, I hardly ever eat a snack at work. Okay. I hardly ever eat snacks at, at work. work. Yes. Uh -huh. With a period, right? Le pusimos punto al final, ¿verdad, Roberto? En esta, permítanme, no, no le puse punto. No le puso, pero siempre le salió bueno. Sí, siempre me salió bueno. Ah, ok. Con el, esa es la que yo le decía que con el, por el ponerle punto me salía mal. Ah, ok. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Es que lo que pasa que me imagino que cuando los compañeros están haciendo la, las respuestas, a veces le ponen un punto y a veces no, ¿verdad? Así es. Ah, por ahí aparecía uno, no sé si uno de ustedes me dijo que, creo que Graciela, pero que me dijo, que al ponerle minus o flor, creo, Al ponerle mayúsculas le salía malo, pero al ponerle minúscula al I le parecía bueno. Entonces, ¿verdad? Hay que seguir encontrando los truquitos. Ok, number two. Sí. Ok, please. Uh, co Cody. Cody. Ok, thank you, Cody. Sometimes I eat pasta for dinner. Ok. En. It's case. Sometimes. Usted le puso al principio. Yes. Yes. Eh, ¿Alguno probó poniéndoselo después del sujeto? Yo también lo puse, pero no me salió. No salió, no lo salía buena. ¿Y al final? No, no me salió. No. Al final tampoco. Ahí no lo intenté, solo. Ah, ok. Solo al principio. Después okay. del sujeto. Yo lo puse. Sí, sí. Sorry, tell me. I'm sometimes I write. Ah, I'm Graciela. Sometimes I sometimes. Le puso usted, write. Graciela. Y le salió bueno. I'm yes. yes, okay, excellent. Good. Thank teacher, you. Teacher. Yes. yes, Carlos. And sometimes uh, it's very good. I sometimes, y también le pareció bueno. Yes. Okay, good. Yes, yes. Ahí teacher. están las dos opciones entonces. Sometimes I o I sometimes. Recuerden que el, el sometimes, sometimes es el, el rebelde de la familia, de la, la oveja negra que se mueve en los tres lados. <laughs> okay, yes. pero, lo, pero los demás de ellos iban. En el, después del, entre el sujeto y el verbo, right? Ok, yeah. number three. Aquí dice número dos, pero es number three. Volunteer, please. Ya no vi ninguna manita levantada. Pero vamos a ver oh. quién más quiere participar. Another volunteer, please. Number three. Si quieres, le sigo ayudando, teacher. Ok, Roberto, thank you. Teacher, ah, ah ya. Yeah. Well, Graciela, okay. bueno, démosle chance a Graciela. Come on. Ajá, Graciela. Hoy nos está fallando un poquito el micrófono, Graciela. Está, okay. llovi está, no. llo está lloviendo por su casa, Graciela. No. No, no. Bueno, no. ojalá que podamos... Ahorita sí le escucho bien. Ahorita sí estoy escuchándole perfecto. 
Okay, come on, please. I, I often, I often have dinner with my family. Excellent. That's nice, right? It's a good. The sentence is correct, and it's correct that you have dinner with your family, Graciela. Okay, that's it, right? Remember, normally we don't give the answer, right? But in this context, yes, because everybody finished the 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 exercise, right? Okay, now let's go to the PowerPoint presentation to introduce the class of today, right? No. Tengo apagado el micrófono. No, Sarita, lo tiene encendido. <laughs> okay. Okay, listen, please. Beginning module two, right? 4.11. Reading. Eating for good luck. Okay, those who believe in the in good luck, right? So this is the topic of today. How do you say good luck in, in Spanish? Buena suerte. Buena suerte. Thank you, Cori. Buena suerte. Good luck, yes. Buena suerte. That's it, right? So, is, is it correct? Some people eat for that? Mm, it's a possibility, right? Now, let's just start with the with the lesson objective for today, right? Uh, let me see who's going to help me. Um, Sarita, please, Sara, read, please, for me, for the class. Yes, teacher. Lesson, lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about special foods, the developed skills in scanning and reading for the tiles. Thank you very much. So we're going to read this article, right? About some special food. And we're going to learn about the ability of scanning. Scan. Scan is like when you, uh, when I tell you, okay, in this reading, you're going to look for the one specific name, Pedrito, right? And then you look in the information, only Pedrito, Pedrito, Pedrito. ah, here, Pedrito, right? Uh, okay, now you're going to tell me the capital city of Panama, right? And then you look, uh, Panama, Panama, ah, here, here is the capital, right? Panama. So that is scanning. Yes. It's like looking uh, for. It's like what? Sorry. It's Excuse me, I didn't listen to you. Repeat. Looking for. Oh yes, but looking for some. It's specific, like looking for some some specific information in a reading, mm -hmm. right? Like when you go, you have a oh. problem, right, with your body, and they say, "Le vamos a pasar un scan," mm -hmm. right? They look in your body, one specific oh. problem, in, okay? Por aquí tiene piedrita en el hígado. <laughs> okay, so they scan the, the, the problem. The same happens when you read. Cuando leemos, podemos usar la misma técnica, right? Okay. Now let's start with the vocabulary. Luck. Round. Jewish. Custom. New Year's Eve. Strength. Color greens, black eyed peas. Oops. Okay, let's come back now. Repeat after me, please. Luck. Round. Jewish. Custom. New Year's Eve. Strength, color greens, black eyed peas. Okay, now any question about this? How do you say log? How do you say round? Uh -huh. Any question? Of, the means of Jewish and Jewish. Jewish is a religion. Uh, when a person belongs to a uh, like Jesus Christ. Judeo. Uh -huh, yes, Jesus Christ was Jewish, right? Mm -hmm. And strength? Strength is fortaleza. Fortaleza, right? Strength. 
Color green. Color green is a special of coal, right? Es un tipo especial de coal. Ya lo vamos a ver en el video. Ok. okay. okay. Y, uh, es como, como repollo. Un tipo de repollo, pero así como un poco más fino. ¿no? Color greens. Ok. Eh, hoja de, hoja de, de bes, besra. Algo así se dice. En hoja de besra. ¿no? Something like that. Pero creo que no hay aquí en el país, así que vamos a ver que es un tipo de repollo. <laughs> ok, then. Okay. Only that? Yes. Yes. You know what is black eyed peas, right? <laughs> no. This black eyed peas. Black eyed peas. Una banda musical. Blue musical. No, no, no. <laughs> What's the meaning of my black home. Yeah, teacher, teacher, my yeah. Home. My home, peas. my home, my home. Okay. No, yeah. Okay. No, black eyed peas, eh, guisantes negros o, o frijoles negros. Yeah, okay. Yes, frijoles yeah, negros. <laughs> black eyed group? Yes, I know, it's a group. <laughs> yeah. But the food is, you know, eh, guisantes no, negros. Yeah. Guisantes yeah. negros. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. And New Year's Eve is víspera. Eve is víspera. Víspera de Año Nuevo. O comienzo. Víspera uh, quiere decir uh, comienzo. Comienzo de Año Nuevo. So when, when people celebrate, right? One, two, twelve. Happy New Year. So that is New Year's Eve celebration, right? Okay. No, no more questions. Let's continue, right? Okay, here we have more about uh, categories of food, right? Uh, we are going to practice, and after we practice, we're going to, to make questions. Do you ever, do you ever have apples in the morning? Do you ever eat chicken in the lunch, etc., etc.? And then you're going to say, yes, I always do. No, I never do, right? Etc., etc. But to begin, let's, let's practice, right? Pay attention. Read and listen. Fruit. Apples. Bananas. Grapes. Oranges. Vegetables. Carrots. Peppers. Broccoli. Onions. Meat. Chicken, lamb, sausage, beef, seafood, fish, clams, shrimp, crab, squid, grains, pasta, rice, noodles, bread. Dairy products. Butter. Cheese. Milk. Yogurt. Oils. Corn oil. Olive oil. Coconut oil. Sweets. Candy. Pie. Cake. Cookies. Now listen again and repeat in the pauses. Add another food to each category. Apples. Bananas. Grapes. Oranges. Carrots. Peppers. Broccoli. Onions, chicken, lamb, sausage, beef, fish, clams, shrimp, crab, squid, Pasta, rice, 
Noodles. Bread. Butter. Cheese. Milk. Yogurt. Corn oil. Olive oil. Coconut oil. Candy. Pie. Cake. Cookies. The microphone teacher turn on the microphone. I always forget that. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you to remind me. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, next time I will give me a, a, myself a coscorron, right? <laughs> okay, come on. Uh, so we have here the, the, the categories of food. So do you have any question about this vocabulary? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Yes, Graciela, Graciela, come on. What's the meaning of clams? Ah, clams is like uh, uh, almejas. Okay, almeja. almeja yes, yes. Almeja, right? Clamps. Okay, any other question? Crab. Crab. Okay, I will show you. Look at me, please. Look at uh, me. Yeah, el grejo. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. crab, right? Okay, and, uh, any other question? Lamb. Lamb, right? Uh, listen. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, there is a movie. The name of the movie is The Silence of the Lambs. And when it appears, Hannibal Lecter, right? Hannibal Lecter. Yes. It's the first movie. With, it's a nice movie. Yes. The Silence of the Lambs. For the lamb is the. Wait. wait. <laughs> okay. The, the lamb is the, is the children, the baby of the sheep. The, okay. the chip, right? Yeah. So, uh, according to the movie, the there was a detective, right, of FBI, detective yeah. del FBI, mm -hmm. and she has a, 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 a psychological problem because when, when she was a, a, a kid, cuando ella era niña, right, uh, she listened to the lambs, oía llorar a los corderos, right? The uh -huh. And she was suffering, suffering. So she was taking the, the lambs, she takes the, the lambs and take them away. Okay? Oh. Pero el cordero siempre regresaba. Como ella estaba muy chiquita, el cordero se le escapaba. Okay? And continue crying. Mm -hmm. cuando, cuando el papá le quitaba los lana o okay. los mataba. You know? That's the, the reason I say el silencio de, las, de los corderos. And in Spanish, it's el silencio de los inocentes, right? Lambs. Oh. And we have, uh, we have babies for other animals. For example, for the chicken, it's chicks. For the, for the dogs, duckling. For the birds oh. and, and lions and panthers, cubs. Hasta hay un cubs. equipo de, de béisbol que se llama, the cubs, los cachorros. The cubs. Ah, cool. And the, yes. for the cow, moo. And for the whale, la ballena, right? Uh, the baby is called calf, calf, C-A-L-F, calf. For dogs, puppy. For example, you say, hush puppies. The shoes. Hush puppies. Los cachorros okay. hush. Los cachorros hush. Hush puppies. <laughs> okay, for the cats. Okay. For the cats. Kitty, Kitty right? Kitty. For the yes. cats, kitty, and et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, okay lamb. Sorry, a lot of explanation, <laughs> lamb. Perdón que me extendí con el lamb. This is cultural that sometimes we don't know. Algunas veces no nos podemos esa información cultural. Okay, come on. No more questions? Now we're going to add more uh, categories to each, sorry, more items to each category, right? Fruit. Uh, volunteers, please tell me more fruit. Watermelon, teacher. Watermelon, my favorite. Thank you, Graciela. What else? Pineapple. Pineapple? Yes. Blackberry. Blackberry. 
strawberry. Cherry. The cherry. Mm -hmm. What else? Kiwi. Kiwi. <laughs> it's dangerous for allergic people. Mango. Yes. Mango. Okay, listen. Kiwi. I will tell you some Salvadorian fruit and you tell me. Yes, I know, teacher. I know. Okay. Teacher. Oh, no, I don't know, teacher, right? Uh, Nacaspilo. Yes, I don't know. In Santa Ana. Know Only in Santa Ana. It's like yes. a pepeto, right? It's como un pepeto, pero bien enrolladito. Huh? Yeah. I never entre, seen. Entre el pepeto y la paterna está el Nacaspilo. Oh. Huh? Yes. Okay, and another one is caimito. The caimito, yes, some, some are yes. green, some are purple. Algunos son verdes y otros son moraditos, right? Yes. Eh, alrededor de la pirámide del Banco Cuscatlán en Santa Tecla, rodeado de caimitos, right? I have trees for caimitos. Trees of caimitos, yeah, they are delicious. Okay, uh, matasano. Yes, I like the I don't know. Papaturro. El papaturro. I don't know. Es una oh, fruta like... popular. Yes. Todos los salvadoreños. <laughs> ok. En uh, Cincuya. Yes, yes, I know. Cincuya es big, know. right? And with a lot of thorns, con muchas... Um, ¿Cómo se llaman? Es punta, como espina, pero no. Punta. Yes, puntas. And it's orange when you open, right? Orange. Delicious. Yes. Right? Eh, Sunsa. Very dangerous. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Okay. Eh, pepeto en paterna is more common, right? Yes. Okay. So more fruit right now. Vegetables. More vegetables, please. Teacher. Garlic. Okay. Give me a second, please. Teacher. Give me a second. Eh, Carlos. Carlos, right? Fruit. Licha. Licha, <laughs> yes. That's from, from Honduras, right? Uh, coronavirus. From parecido al coronavirus. <laughs> oh, yes, you're right. <laughs> but it's delicious. Hey, Jennifer. Okay. Welcome, Jennifer. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Me alegro que estés sana y salva. No, no, no he caído en la moto. <laughs> no, no me caí. Mojada nada más, pero estoy bien. Gracias. Congratulations. Welcome, right? Gracias. Okay, so let's continue. Vegetables, right? More tomatoes. Vegetables. Tomatoes. Potato. Cabbage. Cabbage. Radish. Potato. Potatoes. Okay. Garlic. Garlic also, yes. Okay. okay. What else? Mm. El loroco, teacher. El loroco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but loroco is it's a flower, right? No. Yes, it's a flower. It's a flower, like, yes. like this other, right? It's a flower. It's, it's not vegetable, right? Okay. Yeah, but I suppose, I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm not sure, but... Uh -huh. uh, and uh, according to the scientists, uh, there is a rule for fruits and vegetables, right? You say that it's a fruit uh, when it has seeds inside. Todo lo que tiene semilla adentro es fruta. For example, the tomato oh. is fruit. The tomato is fruit. The le lemon... Okay. The avocado, avocado, avocado fruit. tangerine, tangerine, yes. All they have seed, right? Todo lo que tiene la, la semilla dentro es científicamente fruta, right? Okay, yeah, now okay. let's let's go to meat. Meat. Examples of meat. Bacon. Bacon. That's it, right? Bacon. Bacon. What jam, else? Jam. 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 Jam, a ham. Hamon, hamon. Uh -huh, ham, yes. Ham, no, ham, uh -huh. ham, ham. Yeah, ham. Jam is, is a. Sí. Jam is a jelly. Uh, mermelada. Jelly. Mermelada, uh, Carlos. Uh -huh. Jam. No, ham, 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 ham. Ham, hamon, hamon. I know, but it's. <laughs> ham, right? Ham. Okay, okay thank ham. you. And poultry. Do you know what is poultry? It's carne de aves. Carne de aves. Oh, okay. Poultry. Poultry. Like How do you spell poultry? P O L T R Y. P O L T R Y. Poultry. Okay. Okay. That's and beef is all moo, right? And I suppose also 
the one we eat <laughs> in, in the in the mercado, right? Yes. Okay. 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 Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, right? No seafood. No. So seafood. Um, no food, carne de caballo. <laughs> oh, yeah, but we don't know. Maybe in the Estadio Cuscatlán, Carlos. Carne de chucho, carne de chucho. <laughs> Inside the bread. <laughs> okay, uh, seafood, extra seafood. Octopus, right? I octopus. Don't know. Uh, octopus. Mm -hmm. Yes. Octopus. Okay. Octopus. Uh, shells, concha, right? Shells. In El Salvador, we, we eat them, right? Shells. Oyster. You know what is oyster? No. No. Oyster is the almeja, right? Uh, ostra, no. sorry. Ostra. Ostra. Oyster, yes, yes. Okay, grains. What else do you have in grains? Almond. Oh. Uh, no, grains. that is in... Uh, Let me see. Yes, almonds. Almonds. Mm -hmm. What? Nuts. Cereal. Yes. That's okay. Dairy products. Season. Uh huh. Dairy products. Dairy products. Cream. Cream. Correct. Cream. Cream. And I, I forgot now how do you say requesón, but it's, it's... Cottage. Cottage, thank you. Cottage. Who say, who, Cory, Cory, right? Okay, thank you, Cory. No. No, no, who said? No sé quién fue. Okay, cottage cheese. <laughs> cottage cheese is, is uh, requesón, but of course, <laughs> es, el requesón de salvar un poco así como a lo brusco. <laughs> but in other mm. countries, it's more like, mm, more delicious, right? <laughs> Okay, oils. Oil. Mm -hmm. Flower sun, right? Uh, la... Girasol. El girasol, uh -huh. flower sun. Uh, girasol, right? That is all Canola. The this. Hmm? Canola oil. Canola oil, yes. Mm -hmm. Havolin, too, right? Havolin. <laughs> no, okay. Castrol. <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. No, okay, teacher. sweets. Candy. Heidi. Uh, no. <laughs> teacher. Okay, more example. Candy. Semita, right? Sweet oh, bread. <laughs> okay, very good. Now we're going to practice. Listen. Okay. Uh, to begin, right? I want a median, right? Median, you give me one example using fruit and say, I always, I sometimes, I often, I hardly ever, right? A median, sorry, no, no está median ahora. Oh, sorry. No, no está, ¿verdad? Carlos Dominguez, oh, please. Carlos, give me one example saying yeah. fruit, please. Uh, um... I always uh, eat banana. Okay, nice. Thank you. Uh, Sara Quintanilla, Sarita, vegetables. I I always eat este, um, carrot. Carrot, good, nice. Okay, but now change, right? Cambiemos la adverbio ahora. Uh, meat. Let me see. Uh, Suleima. Hello, Suleima. Give me one example talking about meat, right? I never, I never, a lamb. I never eat? Suleima, I never eat? A lamb. Aha, uh -huh, but say, I never, I never eat. I never uh -huh. eat. Lamb. Lamb, excellent. Very good. Thank you. I never eat lamb, right? Roberto, please. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Meat, uh, seafood. 
Hume is, eh, no estaba teacher. <laughs> todavía, ah, no okay, good. Ah. Eh, we are making sentences uh, using the categories of food. For example, I, I always eat chicken. I never, I never eat garlic. I sometimes eat uh, apples. Okay, so now I, I need you to give me an, one example using seafood. No, Roberto. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, let me see who's going to help me. Jennifer. Give me one example, Jennifer. With seafood. Um, I never eat clams. Okay, thank you. Now, um, it is please grains. I sometimes eat pasta. Okie dokie, Guadalupe. Dairy products. Lupita. Are you there? Teacher, ahí puso un comentario que no le funciona. No le funciona el, el, el micrófono. Ok, teach, el micrófono. Ok, sorry. I understand, Lupita, but you listen, listen. Thank you. Now, eh, so Graciela, please. With uh, oil. With, uh, no, no, dairy products, I say. Oh, dairy products. Ok. I usually eat Yogurt. Oh, nice. I love it. So, uh, Gabriela Hernandez, oil. I hardly ever... You can say oil. cook or, or use. Uh -huh. Come on, repeat. I hardly ever... Gab Gabriela? I hardly ever... Use coconut oil. Coconut oil. Okay, thank you. And to finish, Flor, can you help me, Flor, with sweets? Okay, teacher. I never eat pie. Okay, very good. Now, to finish this activity, we are going to make questions, right? You're going to say, do you ever, do you ever eat, do you ever cook, do you ever use? Etc., etc., and then you say whatever apples, carrots, lamb, coconut oil, candy, etc., etc., right? So, uh, let me see. Carlos Dominguez, you're going to make the question to Beatriz Gardames. Remember the question Do you ever? Okay, teacher. Um, the... De cualquiera, de fruit, Yes, any, um, any but, option, any option. Uh, any, fruit, okay, vegetable, any, meat, etc. Okay. Do you ever? Do you ever, uh, do you ever eat apples? Um, yes, bref I always um, breakfast? Yes. Or breakfast? Mm. Yes, Beatriz, yes, uh -huh. I always do. Excellent, good commentary, right? Okay. Now, please, uh, Sara, Sara, you make a question to Brian. Do you ever uh, use, use only, only oil? No, I never do. Okie dokie. Now, Suleima, please, you make the question to Cory. Mande. Okay, you are going to make this question, Suleima. Do you ever No, okay. Hago una pregunta yo. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, please. Por ahí Preguntemos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, que usted haga la pregunta. Oh, yes. Yes, you make the question, uh, Suleima. I understand. Yes, you... 
Yeah, yes, me too. Ya, también yo me perdí, ya me he perdido también. So, make the question to Brian, uh, to Beatriz, sorry, to Beatriz Galdame, right? Okay, but wait, Suleima, le va a ayudar ahorita eh, Roberto Quijano. Okay, pay attention, Suleima. Roberto, you make the question to, to Beatriz. No, 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 to Beatriz, no, I say, right? Era yo, teacher. <laughs> A mí me iban a hacer la pregunta, Cory. Ah, okay. ah Cory, yes, yeah, Cory. Me perdí también yo, Cory. Okay, come on. <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever eat chicken and din and the dinner? I hardly ever eat chicken in the dinner. No, for the dinner. For okay. the dinner. Yes. Jennifer Duarte, you make the question to Flor. No, to Delmi. To Delmi Carranza. Delmi. Uh -huh, Jenny. Okay. Do you do you ever eat um, carrots in the breakfast? Uh -huh, tell me. I don't know. You know. <laughs> you know. I like it. Okay, so to finish, let me see. Uh, Iris, no participado, Iris, okay? Iris, please answer the question, Iris. I sometimes eat carrots in the breakfast. Okay, good. Wait. Thank you very much. Now let's continue. Let's continue, right? Uh, in this case, I will ask questions. And you tell me, right? Which do you consider healthy food and unhealthy food? Healthy and unhealthy, right? Good and bad, right? Now, Suleyma, rice. Healthy Monday. or unhealthy? Saludable or no saludable? Healthy or no healthy? Rice. ¿Cómo fue? Okay. You are going to tell me if it is healthy or no healthy, okay? So I have the example here, rice. Can you check please here, rice? Healthy or no healthy? Healthy. Healthy, okay, good. Uh, let's continue, let me see, uh, Beatriz, French fries. No healthy. Hot peppers, Brian. Healthy. Ice cream, Jennifer Duarte. Jennifer, ice cream. Um, healthy. Huh? Healthy. <laughs> Jennifer, be careful. Cuando sacan las muelas, se recomiendan helado. <laughs> ah, yeah, but no with sugar, right? Pero que no tenga azúcar. <laughs> okay, very good. Don't worry. Mientras haga ejercicio, Jennifer, no tenga pena. Usted sigue comiendo. <laughs> Okay, snacks, not chips, etc., etc. Roberto, healthy or unhealthy? No healthy. No healthy, right. Chicken, pio pio. Carlos? Healthy. Salad, Graciela? Sí. Healthy. Healthy. And to finish, it is pasta with sauce. Uh, healthy. Healthy, very good. Now let's go to the platform today. And we're going to check the class in the platform, right? Let me check. Okay. Eating food for go good luck, right? Pay attention, please. Hi everyone, in this class you'll read an article about special foods. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. 
In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. Okay. Let me see. People eat special foods for... So let's start with the Chinese, right? How do you say tangerines in Spanish? Mandarina. Okay, so the tangerines are round, redonda, right? So they begin and they end. Comienzan y terminan. Like a year, right? Yes. Okay, now Jewish. What Jewish. do they do? They eat apples with honey. Apple mm. with honey. It sounds delicious, right? For a sweet new year. Oh, okay. Very yeah. good. And the Greeks, they eat basilopita. Basilopita. <laughs> so Basic it's bread. They, and they put a coin inside it. Yeah. <laughs> bread, right? So be careful because when you eat the bread, ow. Uh. Okay. But if you try to find the coin, it means good luck for you. It means that you're going to have money all the year, right? No coronavirus, money. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you find the coin, if you don't find the coin, sorry. Poor. Okay. In a Broke all gear. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but they are only belief, right? So, some creencias. Now, in Spain, in some Latin American countries, like El Salvador, right? Yes. We eat 12 grapes. 12 grapes. <laughs> When, when you listen to the song, Falteon Cinco para la Doce, el año, and then you're eating the, the, the grape, right? At midnight, right? And one grape for each month. Okay? Good. Uh, I guess today, this year, only January, February, March, right? Creo que este año solo se comieron <laughs> tres. <laughs> solo tres. Las de Manuel la comieron. <laughs> okay, now, in Japan, it says, Mochi. That is rice cakes. Cake de arroz. Mm, sounds good, right? For strength. Be strength in the, all the year, right? And finally, some American people, some gringos, right? In the southern, they eat black eyed peas, right? That are like coins, que se parecen a las monedas. And uh, we have also the green, right? The color greens. That they are color green like the like the like the bills, como los billetes, the dollar, right? So it means that you're going to have hmm, look money, right? Money. Okay. Do you know any other costume for for good luck related with food? Se puede mm -hmm. alguna otra costumbre que esté relacionado con la comida? No, teacher. No. No. No, okay, good. So now we're going to read the commentaries. Let me see. The commentaries. One, two, three. Uh, Kenny sentences for good luck. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Mm -hmm. The cost, the Jewish costume to eat apples with honey. Greeks eat. It's an ear, but it's eat basilopita. Gloria, oh, nice. For New Year, in, I suppose it's in, right? In my family, we eat turkey and salad, okay? So, listen, we have an invitation this year to eat turkey, eh? <laughs> okay? Now, Roberto Quijano, what do you eat for, at, for Christmas, right? For Christmas. Traditionally, my family and I sat at the table to eat 12 a.m., right? Se aguantan el hambre toda la noche. The house especially, vamos a seguir leyendo, porque esto está interesante. Eh, the house especially bake, bake meat, right? Uh, carne, carne que sería asada, ¿verdad? No, asada. No, no carne al horno, yes? 
no, carne, carne al horno. horno. Carne, carne al horno. horno. Yes, the, thank you, right? Ok, now let me see. Ahora ya no sé cómo regresar. Teacher, ahí donde dice Add Post. Add Post, aquí. Arriba no. de, arriba Ahí nos de... vamos, ok, thank you, thank you. No, pero no I me sale. No. no, no me sale. Oh, ok, no. wait. Uh, por aquí, tal vez, nos vamos aquí. Ok. Vamos a hacer la salvadoreña, nos vamos acá. <laughs> <laughs> nos vamos luego acá, ok. Yes, good, now... Um, And reading, Jaime Mejía, I don't know, maybe it's another student, it's, it's otro estudiante de otro grupo, okay. Now, do you have questions, class? Please, no, it's necessary you finish the knowledge check, right? Multiple choice. Yes. Uh, tangerines are, como son las mandarinas, son redondas, wow. dulces o ácidas. Okay, some um, people eat apples with wheat. syrup. Candy or honey. Greek eat oh, basilopita honey. red inside. ¿Qué es lo que le ponen adentro? Un frijol, una mm -hmm. moneda o un arroz. ¿Qué le ponen ahí? Oh, yeah. In Spain, oh, 12 grapes. Yeah. O in France, o in Italy. Spain. Ok, so I guess it's not difficult, right? Please complete. And see you next week. Next week we're going to start with uh, the section number five. Okay? Okay, okay, teacher. So, God bless you. And I will take the picture for... Good night, teacher. For the whole thing. Thank okay. you. Good night. Good God night, bless teacher. you. Good night. Hi. Ready for the photo? Whole thing? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, one. Cuando diga tres, entonces sonreímos, okay? Okay, wait, 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 wait. One, uh, wait, 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 one, two, three. Okay. Ooh. Excellent, right? <laughs> okay. Like the, like the penguin, right? Bonitos y delgaditos. <laughs> okay. It's not possible. <laughs> yeah, come on, it's possible. It's possible. Don't eat too much in, in exercise, right? <laughs> Okay. God bless you. Okay, Have a good night. Bye. 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 B